My most acclaimed trick of all. It's called the finger gag, and it's, look, it's a very simple story. I just at this point, it was only on my left hand. It started with this. It, that's fatigue. It said, it can't be fatigue. You know, it doesn't it doesn't look like fatigue. And I went. <laughs> Live action. Here we are, live action. Live in, um, what park is this? Yeah, we're in Northeast Portland right now, Laurelhurst Park. We got some special guests today. Pretty excited about this Pretty, one. pretty excited myself. This is kind of out of the ordinary podcast for us. Um, we're out in the public space, but I'm excited. Um, we got two musicians based in Portland, Oregon, but from... St. Paulo, Brazil. <laughs> if, I pro- close enough. if I pronounce that yeah, right. Yeah, that's probably close enough. Um, the names go by J- Johnny Franco and Dom Franco. They're two brothers. Uh, so come on in, guys. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you for making this happen. We know you, you're about to have a show. Um, Johnny, Aiden, Johnny, Max, Johnny, Dom, Dom, Aiden, Dom, Aiden, Johnny, Max. <laughs> so, can you let us know your full name? Yes. Can I try to pronounce it first? Yeah, go for it. He was practicing. Uh, Juan Victor Galliene Franco. <laughs> How did that sound? Pretty good. That's very good. I hear you don't like your full name though. No, no. I, I what I don't like is Johnny Franco. You, you don't, don't like, like Johnny Franco? No, I like my full name. My full name is uh, João Vitor Gariani Franco. Okay. Johnny Franco is just... Um, I mean, I, I, I like it, of course. But yeah. I think it's a good name. It's a good name. It's yeah. a good name. It's good. Yeah. So you two are brothers, correct? Correct. Yeah. And you come I don't, from... I, 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 li- I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> what, what were you saying about your brother earlier? You go by the brother... Oh, yeah, yeah. We go... Uh, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, I am Johnny Franco, the professional entertainer, and please give it up to my real brother Dom. That's me. <laughs> real brother Dom. And then everyone. Oh, we saw as your crazy. Instagram handle. Right, yeah. real yeah. brother Dom. Yeah. I was very lucky to get that one. And you yeah. know what's funny is that we put we I we started saying the real brother Dom because we would say, oh, give it up to my brother here, Dom. And everyone would go, are you guys really brothers? Like, yeah, yeah, he's, he's my real brother. Yeah, yeah. And then, so we were like, okay, let's just cut it. Let's just say it's the real brother Dom, so there's no confusion. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, now that we say it's his real brother Dom. It seems fake. Yeah, now it's fake. <laughs> yeah. Now people really Well, there's confused. also, that like is it. kind of profitable. We realize that knowing when the crowd knows that we're brothers, there's something about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brothers draws, Brothers is good for Brothers good for is good sports. for the brand, good for yeah. the chemistry. Yeah, so, yeah. so to give the audience a background, Eric and I were at a, one of our family friends' party a couple weeks ago, and they had Johnny and Dom uh, from Curbside Serenades, we'll get in that later, uh, to perform for an hour. And I'm like, dang, these guys are talented. So I'm like, maybe we should do a pod with them. So I asked you guys, and um, you guys were thankful enough to be able to do it. So where do you guys come from? Do you want to give you a little back? We like to kind of yeah. give our audience a background of our guests. Cool. Um, so however you want to go about it, but I got a good intro for that. You want to start? Yeah, go for it. Dom and I are brothers. We're brothers like no others. He's been my brother ever since he popped out of my mother's. <laughs> I'll sign under that. Uh, we come. We come from the same same uterus, but <laughs> at different times. Different times. <laughs> me first, and then me second. Me second. Yes. Yeah. And uh, São Paulo, Brazil. That's where we were born, and that's where we come from. And uh, a little backstory is we grew up playing together, and and then uh, we were separated by family uh, situations. And then once he, once Dom was out of out of uh, school obligations, he. Made his way up here for for us to join forces. So, what inspired you guys to move here initially? Because I going from Brazil, did you go straight from Brazil to Portland, or did you end up somewhere else in the U.S. first? It was me to that one. I followed this guy. You followed this so guy. So you came here first, and then yeah. Dom came. Okay. I followed a woman. You followed <laughs> oh, really? a woman. Yeah, with her consent. 
with your consent. Oh, okay. Are you still with uh, yeah, that woman? Yeah, we married. Oh, 19th okay. of April. So wait, we saw that one song, Immediate Love. Yes. And that's based on her. That's a song for her. It yeah. wasn't quite immediate. It took them a little while to it, figure it out. But yeah. once <laughs> so it, That was a... Your music video was great. Oh, Amazing that was crazy. production. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was super cool. It was like watching a movie. Yeah, yeah that it, was is, wild. it oh, is. We've been playing beautiful. that song a bit, and I think it's a very good song. Thank uh, you. What's the background of that? So, your wife? The, your yeah. girlfriend? Yeah. My, my wife, Elizabeth, uh, and I... Uh, fell in love in 2016, and uh, and I, I I ditched everything I was doing to to go to find a way of being with her, and because of the uh, United States Brazil thing and where could we live together, we decided it would be just easier to do it here since I could speak English and she couldn't speak Portuguese, even though yeah. she she tried. Now she can do it a little bit, but uh, anyway. So, so then we moved out here so that we could we could uh, be together, and the uh, the song and the music video, that all came. Um, I, I recorded the song before I decided to go into the studio in Brazil before I left for for America to sort of record these songs. So I had something to bring to the states and yeah. and recorded a four track EP which is called Experience Report Number One, and it's on. Uh, Spotify and Immediate Love's one of the tracks there, and uh, I just got super lucky because met this uh, I met this director in Brazil called Robert Olish, and he's from uh, El Salvador, but he was living in Brazil in São Paulo and and doing uh, publicity work there, and uh, he was looking for something uh, uh, less commercial to spend his time and and talent on and decided to do it on me were you guys djing in brazil because uh, i saw something a golden record or something was that was uh, that you yeah. well <laughs> not djing but yeah. it wasn't de- singing at the s- it was okay DJing. yeah yeah okay yeah that that was the other part that really made my move here possible yeah is uh yeah. i got um how old were you when you when, when i you recorded that no, when you m- recorded and then also moved to Port. Uh, oh, I moved to Portland three and a half years ago. Okay. Three and a half. Okay. Yeah. So. And how long ago was Immediate Love recorded? By uh, the same time, 2018. Same time. Okay. So right after that, cool. you came. 2018 over here. was yeah. recorded, and 2018 the music video was recorded. But I only got it to release. Uh, got it released in 2020 when I, I found people that were interested in in doing all that stuff for me. But the the what what was the question? That was the last thing you recorded was the EP before you left. Yeah, the EP before I left. Yeah. It was like okay. two days before you hopped in the plane, we recorded the EP. Yeah. Do you think making music here is easier than, or I guess, b- blowing up musically is easier here than in Brazil? I, it's never easy. It's never yeah. Okay. I don't think. I don't it's think that's such a thing too. Yeah, it's never easy, and uh, I, I wasn't really thinking of that. I was just trying to. Uh, just trying to be with Elizabeth and yeah. and uh, here it was just easier to do it than than in, than in Brazil. It's actually quite sorry. It's actually oh, yeah. kind of funny how this all happened because we never actually played together in a band. Although we we played together forever since we since we we were born, but uh, like we never actually done really yeah. like let's go and do something about it. So it wasn't actually the plan the plan to come here and perform yeah. together. I just came because. Johnny was here and he had a, yeah, a and couch. We, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you never know what happens when you, you move somewhere and make something happen. I think what you guys got going on is super unique. Your Very. local Portland singers, entertainers. That's one thing I've noticed about you guys is you entertain the crowd. Yeah. Not just sing along. So is it enter, like entertaining people always been part of your DNA and passion? Because you got more than just being a artist and writer, do you? You guys, you guys are fun to watch. Not you guys just are fun to watch. You got a little something to you. Yeah. So that's why I think. Uh, oh, I, I think it's convincing, right? Yeah, I, I call it. I call it. I have my. I call it my ar- arsenal of convince of of convincement. Uh, convincement. Yeah. yeah, and uh, and and against boredom, I just I just can't stand watching a, a boring performance and uh, I try my best to make mine the least boring possible and we were so we were loving that one handshake thing where then it yeah so we watched the oh back. yeah 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 the jam in the van yeah. that was super cool yeah. great production 
uh, one thing that caught her attention, you were, I think it was Trees in the Grass, yeah. your song. And you started kind of gave a intro into it, and you started talking about yeah. your hand. And I was like, whoa, this is this is so cool. Like, yeah. do a little intro, kind of acting here, and then you go, boom. Yeah. And you start that was singing. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if you want to get into that a little bit, but I thought seeing your jam in the van YouTube video was pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah uh, I I like a lot about about what we're what we're doing too, especially because you mentioned that thing at the Trio Lake Crest. Because it's like it doesn't really have nothing to do with, with the recording specifically. I mean, it's the same song, and we're yeah. singing the yeah. song. But uh, John is very good at that. At, at, at let's let's make it different. Let's yeah. try to play what's best for what is going on right now. You know? So. Yeah. And did COVID nineteen play a role in what you guys are doing now? Because I think you guys are very talented. Uh, right now, are you doing mostly? Kind of gigs for parties, stuff like this. You guys this. have the curbside uh, serenade, right? Yeah. yeah. So what, that's what's your guys' brand? What do you guys do right now? Like, if people to look you up. What are you guys about? Okay. Now, now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're uh, waiting for. Yeah. Um. So, the way to look it up is Johnny Franco. That's the easiest way. Go Johnny Franco, and then. Once you realize I'm not the plastic surgeon, Johnny Franco. We did. We we saw that. Yeah. On Google. You saw him. You gotta, they gotta change that photo. Yeah. I, I tried. I, when we went down to LA to for touring last year, I tried scheduling a meeting. <laughs> no. With, in, uh, under false pretenses that I wanted to do a nose job with him. <laughs> with Dr. Johnny Franco. With That's Dr. Some Johnny Franco. Right there, man. But I think so it raised too many suspicions, and okay. he was on to me. But anyway, so yeah, look for Johnny Franco, and then. Then when you find the songs uh, that that are there, uh, you're going to have to come come and find us to really uh, to really get the the good the good part of the good part of what we do because the recordings are there. There's only five or six of them, and there's a couple of videos. That just that you don't just there's just not the show's not there yet. You don't yet. get the full experience. Yeah, the yeah. show's not is not there yeah. yet. And also we make more money when you hire us to come and play for you. Yeah. Also, so, uh, sorry. Also, just uh, coming back to what you were asking about the COVID thing, because that was uh, something that we were kind of lucky about it. Because uh, did you move here around the same time? So as yeah, I I moved here uh, a week before COVID, basically. Oh wow! So uh, when we got here, we got we had some shows lined up. We we had this thing in LA. Give me two minutes. Yeah, no, you're good. Go you ahead. guys need to go do things. Uh, we had this, this kind of a little tour in LA scheduled and some recording sessions. Anyway, it was nothing that I was part of the plan I just came in that day so we went to LA and once we got to LA it was the first day of COVID so all the shows got cancelled oh, on the day that we had just drove down to LA Wow! so that was like that was like well guess we're just gonna come back and we came back and it was kind of a bummer we didn't know what to do with you know I had all these plans of coming here and playing with Johnny and and suddenly COVID wouldn't let us do it and then we uh, I don't know if, if Johnny mentioned with you, but uh, he used to busk every day in the streets and bus, busk, busk. What is with that? Yeah, just play in the streets. Oh, so just like yeah, you play oh, in the, streets, the streets, put your money. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, and we did that. Uh, Johnny did that since he moved in the end of 2018, <laughs> and I came to spend like two months with him, and we did that together for a while, and we got to meet a, bu a bunch, a bunch of people, and uh, one of these people, this guy, had his daughter that loved, loved Johnny and loved us. So once. Uh, and when this, uh, the corona hit, he was like, would you guys mind coming over to like in front of our apartment building and playing just for her, it's her birthday. And we did, and like, we are like, oh my God, this is amazing. Yeah. We should do that all the time. We should have people just calling us and hey, could you pop up here in front of my, my window or something like that. <laughs> so then Johnny came up with the curbside serenade. Yeah. And that was basically, that's what Holy Grail. took you guys to the next level in Portland, correct? That's, yes. That's yeah, funny we, you say that because we you and me were talking about how the podcast started and you said it was cool how it started naturally. So true. So, yeah. And you that know was the same exactly story. what happened. Oh, that yeah. was hilarious. Uh, and we ended up being even more busy than we are right now in 2020 wow. with the serenades. We played more than 150 serenades in 2020. It's a genius idea because you think about how many get-togethers people have. Yeah. And how many? And you guys are affordable, too. Yeah, right? yeah, and it's yeah. like I'd love to have some local singers come and play some music. Especially because people don't probably still don't want to go to big concerts if they're still worried about COVID. So. Totally, it's more and, comfortable. and that yeah. was the whole thing that we would be outside of your house, you know, yeah. while yeah. we were playing. I mean, as 
people that wanted to us to be uh, further away, they would put us further away. We played so many different situations and different occasions. But the nice thing with the curbside serenade is just it's not just us, which is very interesting. There is a full roster of I think six more artists. So did there. you guys recruit those artists? How did you find them? Did they reach out to you? Do they want to be a part of it? What do you say? All lies. So <laughs> we're we're getting into curbside serenade, yeah, how that say. evolved. What do you say? I um, shouldn't have left. And that's kind of your. I told them that your haircut sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, side note. So coming into this, I'm like, all right, I kind of want to dress to your guys' style. <laughs> I also know you had a mustache last time I saw you. I'm trying to grow one myself. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit, but no, what, what's your? You know, now that mustache? he said it. Beautiful. Now yeah. you notice it. Yeah, beautiful. I like it like that. Like that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. The best thing you got is your ch the chain and the necklace. <laughs> yeah, the necklace. Pearl necklace. Very cool. Oh, yeah. that's that's that's. You that's, tried on like four necklaces yeah, before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, to decide which I'm, one. Like, I'm sitting down with some professional entertainers. Yeah. I gotta look. I gotta look to par, yeah. man. Thank you very that's much. Good. But <laughs> yeah, so curbside serenades. That's what you guys are doing here today. Yeah. Um, you guys are gonna after this. You're gonna kind of perform. You got some other people. Yeah. So. Was it two other bands that are also two other? Yeah. yeah. So, so the curbside serenade thing, I like to talk about it for a little bit, just because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of proud of it, and I'm also trying to get this, this thing going, because yeah. I feel like uh, more, more other performers could benefit from, from this idea. Yeah. So the, the COVID, uh, when the, when the COVID thing I happened, explained how it came up. how yeah. it came up. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, so yeah. So I, we started delivering the shows to people, and. Uh, because of the amount of delivers that we did and uh, and like how profitable it was for us like, we're very cheap and we're not we were not making banks but but you know we were working and we're no busy. one no, yeah. no one was working and, and we were working in a safe way you know and doing what you liked while making money too yeah yeah, yeah. and um, um, so then now curbside serenade is a platform um, where fans of live music can find performers who are willing to deliver an hour um, serenade and uh, 30 minutes an hour, 30 minutes, 30 minutes an hour. to an hour serenade yeah and uh, wherever wherever they like you know it started first we would perform outside and you'd be inside because of covid now you can you can put us anywhere you want and um, that we have six or seven other uh, artists there on the on the lineup of, of curbside serenade for people to choose from, and it's it's very easy. It's like ordering uh, food, food or yeah. Uh, uh, yeah something so you, else. you came up with the idea, right? And it's a pretty good one. But how did you get this out to the public? How did you promote it? How did you get people to kind of gain recognition? Recognition about? I, we just I I just did. Uh, oh, Johnny was 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 already was already part of of, of the scene. Okay. By that point, in some so sort, he, he already himself? had some kind of a, a following. In that, yeah, there was people that wanted to wanted to see the the show, and the COVID thing w was an impediment. And the fact that uh, we were delivering, uh, that was all the pub the publicity. I mean, I don't I, uh, I don't really spend much time uh, thinking about um, yeah. how to how to promote it. I just I sort of I, I believe that if you do good work. And um, and uh, impact people. Uh, that's enough. Yeah. That's that's what I believe. And uh, we're we're just trying to do that with curbside serenade. Just try to make every serenade uh, um, enough for people, you know, and, and impact them in a certain way. And uh, the park shows became. Did you talk about the park? Yeah, shows? no. So that's what I was gonna say right now. Because uh, although the curbside serenade we were posting, like, hey, you can come to the. Uh, you can, I'm sorry, you can book a curbside serenade uh, anytime you want, but uh, our friend, or th th wasn't our friend by the time, but he booked a serenade at here at the Laurel Horse Park. So can you guys come play for me and my, my girlfriend and my dog? And he booked us right over there on the other end of the park, and we came, and it was a, th a Thursday. And we just said, oh, this is fantastic, let's come back every week. You know, no one is booking us, but let's just do it. So we've that was in June 2020. So this is is this just for fun? Yeah, it's are you guys getting paid for this? Like uh, we just get paid on tips. Tips, yeah. Tips, okay. So yeah. We really try to get paid though. I mean, yeah. uh, we we tell everyone that this is the only way we'll make money with yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, you guys are gonna continue to do this no matter what if you make money because it's, it's it's what you want to do. Right. I mean, uh, this is this is just uh, this is just uh, a big platform itself yeah, yeah, yeah but, you know? but it's our it's our work you know if you get uh, it's just the 
You know, the crowd no, is but our, this is the our crowd Spotify is our boss. Too, yeah, you know? yeah, the exposure. You get somebody that walks through the park, hears yeah, it, likes yeah. it. And Portland's a great place to do this. There's it so is. many it people really who is. appreciate the, like, local. There's so many people walking around, not going anywhere. Yeah. Like, look at this. Stop I mean, and listen. We, and got, yeah. we got people joining a park yeah. right now, ready to listen to some good singing on a summer yeah. day. Yeah. Like, well, oh, all God. these. All, That's what all, I love. That's everyone, what I love about you guys. Everyone who's out here, I, we can almost. Yeah, uh, we can almost recognize a lot of all the faces. Yeah, and, and yeah, we've been doing this since 2020. Since 2020 so there's a lot around. of people that I mean, there's some that were here since the beginning, but there's yeah. some that came over and, and started building yeah. it. Up. Yeah. What do you guys' parents think of this? Are you are you guys still in contact? With yeah, them? Uh, are they, still they never Brazil? came here to yeah, see they, that, but Yeah, they don't. For them, they we're just know, playing just, at the park. They're like, <laughs> oh my god, they're going out of the park <laughs> and play music. <laughs> oh, aren't they cute? Together as brothers, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what's yeah. that's what's. My cool. mom is super it. proud, so you yeah. want she to is. Okay, it. that's awesome. Um, so I know you guys got things to do here. Um, yeah. I thought it'd be cool to get like a little jingle. I don't know how that would go, but well, let's do it. You guys are very good at like freestyling. Um, yeah. That's uh, we can. You guys can. No worries if you don't want to do it, but I thought uh, it'd be cool let's to, like, do it. Give the audience a little showcase. So of our name's guys. Three Broke College Kids. Three Broke College Kids. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you got two uh, two bro college uh, dropouts here. They're gonna <laughs> perform. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if you need your guitar or anything, but whatever you guys want to do, I thought it'd be fun to. But no, no, yeah. worries, no worries if not. No, I'm thinking because we're gonna be playing right over there. Mm -hmm. We could maybe you guys could just record. Yeah, maybe we can start there. the show there. We can start. Yeah. We can let's go start the show. Yeah, okay. let's start the show. And then you guys can. Can uh, you if you guys want to plug anything right record. now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll you, tag all your stuff. So we got a, a large audience from. Portland, Oregon, a lot of people watching from there. So this is your chance to kind of show people, you know, what you're about and uh, kind of make yourselves known. So where, where can we find you? Spotify, YouTube, any sort of platform. At, at Laura Horse Park every Thursday, 6 p.m. That's the that's the main place to come and find us. Find us physically. Yes. And on Instagram is the place on Internet that I'm the most uh, present. Uh, present. And... On my link there, the link on the that's Johnny the bio. Johnny the Franco. Oh yeah, Johnny the Franco. And uh, on the link there on the bio, there is uh, there is links to my next shows, and we keep that that those shows updated. But I would like to just plug one thing that is really what we're trying to get the word out is our first headlining show at the Doug Fur in Portland, uh, 9th of September, the 9 of 9 at Doug Fur. That's coming party. It's going to be a great, great time. We're, we're just summing all of the best moments of everything we've done to sort of bring a, um, a long-ass show for everyone who comes out. It's pretty cheap, and it's a beautiful place, and uh, we'll look good. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, Thank I just you. want to say you guys are very talented. I like what you guys are doing. You're entertaining. You bring a you know, unique role to the music world. So... Um, thank you for yeah. joining us. Thanks, um, guys. Appreciate it. I'm thank excited you. to watch you guys play here in front of some people. Thank um, you. This yeah. is as Portland as it gets, baby. Yeah. And yeah. I would, I would try to sing for you guys, showcase my singing skills. Oh, we'll that'd save be that great. For, we'll, we'll save that for another day, uh, maybe. S send us a voice memo. Send yeah. us a voice, <laughs> voice memo. And we'll yeah. listen when we're going Acapella to sleep. Acapella voice memo. Acapella, yeah. Yes. There we go. Yeah. We'll, we'll put All it right. in the house. All, All right. right, everybody. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Hey, All right. So much for and Dom. Thank you for joining us. Max. Yep. Aiden, Aiden yeah. Max. Yeah.